All good to start. All right. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining our weekly webinar. Uh, we've been doing this for several months now, and we're going to continue doing it as, as long as uh, these are helpful for people. Today's topic is all about monetization strategies, particularly for your faceless videos. Uh, but you can use these monetization strategies regardless of what type of content that you're creating. And then towards the end of this, I'm going to be doing channel reviews for anybody that wants uh, as well. So if you have a, a faceless channel, if you're doing the 30 day uh, syllabi faceless challenge, um, just post your links in the comments. We'll, we'll get to them. Um, and uh, let's jump right in. Let me share my screen here. So I'm going to do a, just a quick little overview uh, of the different strategies that I'm going to be talking about here. Uh, typically, when people think about, you know, monetizing on on uh, on social, all right, am I able to monetize this on, on YouTube? You know, that's immediately where people people's minds go. And it's a great goal, right? Become monetized, make money. There are I hate to be the, the bearer of bad news, but shorts sucks <laughs> in payment. Um, and it should not be the primary method that you're monetizing. You will be sorely disappointed if the only, and, and this is getting millions of views. I mean, my YouTube, my, my personal YouTube channel, I have 600,000 subscribers. I get like 500,000 to a million views a month. Sometimes it's higher than that, of course. And I'm really not making that much money for those, those views. It's like four to six cents per thousand views. And you can think about that. If you're getting, you know, a hundred thousand views per month, you're making like $6. It's, it's really not a lot of money. And so with that, you know, let, let the ad revenue from these platforms just be the icing on the cake. The short answer is yes these faceless AI generated videos are able to be monetized on YouTube. I specifically talked to YouTube. I asked them, they said, yes. However, I don't want you to rely on that because there are so many better ways to make money um, through leveraging uh, these, these views. So the first one that I want to talk about is affiliate marketing. What affiliate marketing is, and if you uh, attended, uh, I, I do separate affiliate marketing oriented webinars like this. Um, if you're interested in going deeper down the affiliate marketing rabbit hole, essentially what it is, is you're a salesman. You're treated as a salesman. You sign up as a salesman for a software program. Um, you can sign up as an affiliate for syllabi, for instance. That's one of the easiest ways that people in this challenge have already begun to monetize. There's already been awesome case studies of people um, promoting their syllabi links in the YouTube descriptions or in their link in bio or just even in the comments for replying to people and providing helpful information. Anytime that you post your affiliate link for any software, it doesn't have to be syllabi, somebody clicks on that link and they sign up for that service, you get paid, you get a commission. And what I love about software affiliate commission is that it's oftentimes recurring. So what that means is if you get somebody, uh, let's take syllabi, for instance, because we offer a 30% recurring um, commission. So let's, uh, let me just show you our affiliate resources center. And we have really tried to build one of the best affiliate uh, resource centers possible. I mean, Dawn, um, uh, works incredibly hard, um, to stack this up. So we even have like our own assets in here. We have, you know, dozens of, of videos that you can download and repost them. Uh, Nicole has created a lot of content. I have content in here. You can repurpose. Um, but it pays 30% re recurring commissions for life. We have no cap on this. What's, what that means is you get somebody to click on your syllabi affiliate link and they sign up their paid user every single month that they continue to pay for syllabi you get paid so if a commission is you know like on the 49 dollar plan i think it's uh it's like four uh 14 is the commission you get one person to sign up one time you get 14 every single month that they continue to pay 
and it stacks. And that's what I love about um, affiliate marketing as well is that it, it stacks. And so if you have a good service where people uh, stick around and they continue to pay for that service, it just continues to build. Um, there's one tool in particular, Ranked, uh, Ranked AI. Uh, this past month was my top month with Ranked. They paid me $12,000 uh, because I've been a Ranked affiliate for like four years. And it's it stacks because people stick with the service for a long period of time. And every month I get new people to sign up for Ranked or I get an agency to sign up for Ranked and they sign up their con uh, their uh, their clients and I get commission for, for all of those that end up signing up. The other thing that I love about affiliate marketing in general um, as a better solution than just monetizing through ad revenue is that everybody gets paid the same no matter where you are in the world. Uh, ad revenue drastically differs uh, based on the region that you're in. The United States gets paid more than in India or in the Philippines or in Africa or any other country, right? So depending on where you're located, you will, will make more or less money just through ad revenue. But affiliate marketing, it's a universal scale. Every single person gets paid equal. And I love that about affiliate marketing uh, as well. Um, that's for time's sake, that's all I'm going to talk about affiliate marketing. I'm happy to go deeper into that. Uh, Jao, if you could post just the link to our affiliate program, um, in the, in the comments here, anybody can, uh, can become an affiliate for syllabi. It's 100% free. You don't even need to be a syllabi user, uh, in order to be a, a syllabi affiliate. And then last thing that I'll touch on this is, you know, where to post these links, uh, you can post them in the descriptions of your videos. You can post them as a comment uh, on, on YouTube in particular. Uh, you can post them in the links in your bio. Um, so if you go to, you know, like TikTok, for instance, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this as a different strategy later, but, but this link right here, if you're creating um, a lot of, if you're creating videos talking about different AI uh, tools, for instance, um, or you have a history channel or whatever, and you just want like a simple way to monetize, you could just put a line in here and be like, every video on this channel was created with syllabi, click this link, right? And this link would be your affiliate link, right? And so everybody that clicks on that link because they like your videos, you're gaining traction, they want to create videos like that for themselves and get the same traction, they can click on that link, they sign up, you get paid, and get paid a recurring amount. Um, there's all there's so many different ways to promote um, affiliate links as well. You could have uh, an email list and you can uh, post it that way. Um, you can post uh, uh, text-based threads on Facebook, on threads, on Twitter, uh, and, and share your affiliate links there. Affiliate marketing is one of my top revenue uh, sources just personally. Um, and I, I absolutely love it. I've been doing it for four or five years at this point, and it's, it's amazing how much it can compound. Another option here, uh, and I thought this was so cool. Some of you uh, saw this example. I posted it in the, the syllabi content creators group the other day, um, is you can use these faceless videos for um, TikTok shop. So I'm going to play this video. Uh, this was not made in syllabi. But you could do this exact same thing in syllabi. So I wanted to use this as an example. Um, this works um, more so on uh, on mobile than desktop. They still are are clunky with the TikTok shop on uh, on mobile. But you can see here this video um, is eligible for commission, right? So if you haven't used a TikTok shop. Maybe you've seen uh, videos um, of people in the For You uh, feed uh, talking about a particular product, and then there's a link to the product right on there as well. This is essentially affiliate marketing <laughs> built into to, uh, TikTok, and I, I love that they did, they did this. I think they have nailed this experience. It, it's an easy way for creators to monetize. They've done it so much better than Instagram. Like, I have personally never purchased anything from Instagram. And I've made, I've purchased like 10 or 15 items from, from TikTok uh, shop because it's just such a better overall uh, experience from A to Z. 
But let me play this video real quick and, and just kind of show you. And let, I mean, look at this thing. This, this video has, I think, millions of views, which is wild. Let me see here. If yeah. I wanted a bigger three point take ashwagandha. If I wanted to three point six million views. So let me let me just shut up and play the video here for you. If I wanted a bigger pickle, I would take ashwagandha. If I wanted to get stronger in the gym, I would take sea moss. If I wanted thicker hair, I would take black seed oil. If I wanted to boost my test, I would take burdock root. Well, what if I told you there was a daily supplement that mixed everything I just mentioned into one pill? Introducing multi-mineral. Created by Clean Nutra, not only does it contain 88 out of the 102 essential minerals your body needs, but it may also increase your energy throughout the day and naturally boost your testosterone. Over 100,000 happy customers are raving about the benefits, so I made sure to link the correct one in the bottom left, but be sure to hurry before they sell out. Right, so the bulk of this video is just a faceless video. <laughs> you could 100% do this in in syllabi, and especially after we roll out the uh, the editor uh, uh, next week, pressure on a waste on the team here, so that you could actually um, upload your own uh, like product images or or anything like that. Uh, it's going to make this this whole concept super easy. So how this works is essentially you have to. Um, either purchase the product from TikTok shop, or if you have enough followers on TikTok, you can sometimes request free samples. Um, I've done this a couple of times. I got, um, for instance, <laughs> I got a free uh, neck massager uh, from TikTok from requesting it. And I, I posted a video with it, uh, which is pretty funny. But anyway, you can, get, you can get free stuff or you can purchase products like this example here. And then you can create a, a video, you can create a faceless video talking about the benefits of that product. And then you post that on TikTok and link it uh, through the TikTok shop. Um, and everybody that sees that video gets, uh, you get a commission. Uh, or I'm sorry, not everybody that sees that video and purchases the product through your video, you get a commission. Uh, people are making a lot of money right now doing this. Uh, this is an experiment that I'm probably going to be running uh, internally with our team. Um, I have not personally done this yet. So disclaimer with that, I just saw this example and thought, this is brilliant. This is a brilliant way to leverage faceless videos to monetize. So a waste, I might brainstorm some stuff with you uh, afterwards. Maybe there's some some uh, things that we can do to, to test uh, test something like this out. Um, also, I, if anybody is, is, uh, say again. No, I said absolutely. Yeah, sure. Cool. Cool. Um, if anybody is interested in doing this, let me know. I'd love to kind of work on a case study with you. So it, <laughs> if anybody is interested, um, yeah, let me know. Cause I, I'd love to see, uh, actually how effective, uh, this would be leveraging syllabized faceless videos um specifically for TikTok shop uh, affiliates the next one uh payment uh monetization avenue that i wanted to go over is beehive so i've talked about beehive a lot um and i am obsessed with this platform now this is an email marketing newsletter platform so if you're a content creator or you just do any email marketing at all beehive made it so easy to monetize um it's it's kind of like the, it, it's pretty much the best way to get money online right now. I would, I would say, I would argue, I think it's the absolute easiest way to make money online. Um, I have so far made $850 and uh, how it works is they have, they were so brilliant with this. And this is a, this is another thing away. So I'm just, I'm just kind of brainstorming talking out loud here, but I'd love to figure out if we can, figure out some sort of monetization uh, uh, tool or system within syllabi to help people monetize even more. <laughs> but B what Beehive did here is they created this ad network where it's all within Beehive. I can, I can pay to put my newsletter in front of your newsletter and pay like $2 per email. What this looks like is, is, is this, for instance, these are, this is another newsletter, marketing machine, connecting dots, GTM with AI and uh, Veronius newsletter. Um, 
they pay, this one pays $2 per email that I send to them. And I'm going to show you exactly how this works and how you can do it. Uh, Connecting Dots pays $2.40. Uh, GTM pays $2. Veronius pays $1.20. Uh, I think I have, wait, oh, okay. I only have those four active right now. And so how the, you have to apply to these, but how this works is essentially, um, this is a link to sign up for my free newsletter. This is free for people. And so you can have this link and you can do this in any niche. Like I have an ancient history faceless YouTube channel, right? I could start an ancient history free newsletter. And once a week, um, I send an, an email about really cool ancient history facts. It's just a passion project. It's very interesting. Heck, you could even have AI write the emails for you. It really doesn't matter. You're leveraging your viewership from these faceless videos to drive people to sign up to the newsletter. Now watch what happens when I enter an email in here. When, as soon as I click subscribe, this pop-up comes up, right? These are all of those newsletters that are paying me. And so every time if somebody does this and selects all, or they just say, okay, I just want this one, I get paid and it's free for the user. All you're doing is, is um, uh, putting this subscription form in front of people that are interested in your subject matter. You're applying uh, to um, be a sponsor for these uh, third-party newsletters. Once they approve you, this pop-up comes up and it stacks as well. So like if somebody selects all, because I have these four active, it's like $8 per email that I get to sign up. Now they have to verify it. That's the only catch. Right. They have to um, like GTM with AI will send a verification email to them saying, are you sure that you want to subscribe to this? So there is a little bit of a drop off, but still like just doing this, I've made $850 so far. And this is free, easy, free money. All I need to do is create content and say, you want to sign up for my uh, my email newsletter where I, I show you 150 plus other AI tools. Go subscribe for free. A percentage of them do, a percentage of them also subscribe to these other people's newsletters, and I get paid. I absolutely love this strategy. I highly, highly recommend this. Um, I think you can get started. So Beehive, you can get started for free and get up to 2,000 subscribers in your email newsletter. And so you can start and do different things that way. I think in order to have access to this, you have to be on the basic plan, which I think is like 20 five or $29 a month or something like that. But if you're driving viewership um, and like you can use the free plan as a gauge first a little bit, right? Like if you're able to get um, dozens or, you know, a hundred or several hundred emails uh, per month for free, then I would start, I would definitely recommend starting to pay for Beehive because it'll immediately pay for itself. Once you apply to these uh, these um, beehive boosts, they're called, um, you'll make way more than twenty nine dollars in the first month, assuming that you're getting a decent amount of email. So that's that's what I would set up. Whatever your niche channel is, or whatever you're creating faceless videos on, I would recommend signing up. And you can use like ChatGPT to write the emails, right? Like you can do this entirely for free to test it and to start. And then if you're driving enough emails, start paying for Beehive, and you'll be able to monetize it super quickly. The next strategy that I want to talk about is uh, paid online communities. So if you're, so this is my school group, uh, for instance, and this is a paid uh, community. We charge, it's $20 per month. Um, I'm partnered with two other AI influencers on here. We have uh, different courses in here. Uh, it's, it's extended um, access to us. So we do much more detailed um, responses and do deep dives and people message me on here. And so what you can do is you can sign up for school or there's platforms like circle is another one as well. Um, I think high level even announced that they're doing a, a, a community thing like this. Um, high, high level is becoming like the uh, cockroach is the, the chameleon, I guess, of, of the digital marketing world where they're just like stealing everybody's 
everybody's ideas. <laughs> but you could you could create a paid group like this, and that's another really easy way uh, to monetize. You can drive all of your viewership into um, uh, an industry specific group or community uh, and provide some sort of, of value. Now, the, the key with all of these monetization avenues is they have to be relevant to the videos that you're creating, right? So like if I, if my videos are uh, for my faceless channel are ancient history, right? So I might start an ancient history um, uh, newsletter. I might create uh, a private community group here around um, uh, ancient history enthusiasts uh, or something like that. Um, you know, all of these different methods, it has to align. Uh, otherwise it's not going to make sense. Like if, uh, you, you follow me on, on Facebook or on social media, I talk about AI tools and useful websites and digital marketing tips. If I started selling, uh, bread, it, it, there's a complete misalignment there. Like who, why would anyone buy bread for me? Or if I started talking about cars all of a sudden, like nobody is going to buy my ebook about, um, a Subaru Forester uh, enhancement guide, right? Because that's not the type of content that I create. It all has to align. That's what's going to drastically improve the success for you. So uh, online communities are a great way uh, to build recurring revenue streams as well. Uh, school is uh, is recurring. So it's, it's $20 every month. I'll let you do the math. We've got over uh, 100 people uh, in the group here. Uh, just a great simple way to monetize as well as build community uh, as well. Another great method is selling digital assets uh, like paid courses or um, uh, downloadable eBooks. Uh, this is uh, an eBook I created um, several years ago at this point. I just wanted to show it as an example here. Uh, this was with uh, Machyar. Uh, was is Machyar is really the author of this. I just, it, it just kind of was, created with social T pros branding. Um, shout out to Macar. Macar some, sometimes comes in these webinars. I don't know if you're your brother or not, but, um, uh, and then I essentially sold it. Um, so this was a bigger book and this is, this is different from a lead magnet because it's a lot more intense. Um, it's a 22 page detail oriented book on a particular topic. And I think we were charging like nine dollars uh, for this ebook uh, when we were actually selling it. We were using our content uh, to talk about it and 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 sell it. And you can have like whole funnels and uh, upsell funnels and the whole nine yards. Like um, there's a like you can stack a course and an ebook together uh, for upsells or downsells. So like if you sell this ebook. Um, and you're using a platform like high level or click funnels, for instance, and they're on the checkout page and you add like an order bump, uh, or something like, oh, you're purchasing this $9, um, uh, Google, my business secrets ebook. Would you also like this three hour long Google, uh, business optimization video course where we go deep into, uh, how to optimize and show you exactly everything. And that course is $99. And a percentage of people will also click yes on that and purchase that. And so you can stack these two things together. Um, or you could do opposite, right? Like you could drive people to a relevant course um, and have them pay a higher ticket item there. Like maybe the course is $99 and then you upsell a, a smaller item, right? And so like, would you also like this $9 uh, Google Business Secrets ebook to go alongside the course? It's a workbook. We highly recommend you use it, you know, something along the lines of that. So that was kind of two strategies there, right? Uh, a downloadable ebook or an online paid course. Um, both of these are trem tremendous ways. I think we sold a, a couple thousand dollars uh, of this ebook. And then all of my courses I folded into school. Uh, but when I had my, I, I think I, I think I made like 23,000. Um, just from my SEO course from a couple of years ago. And that was hosted on ClickFunnels. Um, so no, I'm not a, a two comma award winner, but uh, I'm not complaining about 20,000 plus uh, from one course that I made either. <laughs> so those are different strategies there that you can do. Um, leads and sales for your own business. I mean, this is, this is another big one as, as well. Like 
all of the faceless. So all of our faceless channels that we're creating are promoting syllabi. We're building kind of our own army of faceless channels that all point back into syllabi. Uh, Jao has, is taking a lead and initiative on this, but um, uh, Nicole and Rhea on our team. Um, I think Nicole, uh, I think Dawn has uh, some faceless channels as well, perhaps, but we're running like 20 to 25 different faceless channels in different niches right now. And as we're recommending to you uh, um, with a syllabi affiliate link to sign up, we're just driving people right to, to syllabi. So we're actually using syllabi to promote syllabi. Um, and so like that is a, that's for whatever your product or service is, um, you can use faceless videos to drive leads and sales. So like if you, we have real estate agents that are using, uh, faceless videos right now, uh, to generate leads, there's all sorts of different coaches and consultants and lawyers, uh, other software companies, like you could use. Um, if you have a, a, your own AI tool, you could use uh, faceless videos to talk about the problems and questions that your customers search for online and have lead magnets or contact forms or website links or phone numbers, emails, anything uh, uh, in the descriptions, the comments um, from your faceless videos to drive them to become leads and, and ultimately sales and, and purchases. Uh, one really cool example that I want to bring up here is, is American Addiction Center. So this, they're not doing faceless videos, but um, I wanted to talk about some of the lead uh, generation options. Uh, this was a previous client um, at my agency, but they have this awesome link in bio. I use Stan. I'm a Stan ambassador, but the, this is Beacons. Beacons is another great tool. There's a million of these link in bio tools out there now. Uh, Linktree was kind of the first uh, to market, uh, beacons and Stan are both incredible. There's a million, a million of them out there, but all of these links. So essentially like from, there's one link in your social media bio. And then when they click on that link, it expands into this. And all of these are really lead generation types, right? So they have a dedicated page to learn more about the topics. Uh, there's a, uh, what, uh, would insurance cover you? So this is like a verification of benefits page where, you fill out all of your information about your insurance. They have a quiz uh, a test on here where you fill out the, the test, but you, you know, you always end up um, uh, giving them your contact information, but all of this comes from their social media videos, right? Free addiction ebook. We talked about the, uh, the, the ebook, um, a live chat option, a call act, uh, call, uh, hop on a phone call action, and then their podcast they're promoting there as well. But these are all very viable and proven uh, topics that are uh, lead generation methods that if you're creating faceless videos or social media videos in general um, and promoting or and putting like links like this in front of them and giving them multiple touch point options to contact you or to purchase from you, uh, you're just removing that barrier to entry and making it incredible, incredibly uh, easy. Now, the last one that I want to talk about here, because now while short, uh, short monetization ad revenue absolutely sucks, long form is good. Long form ad revenue, particularly on YouTube, uh, is what everybody envisions. Now, again, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news that shorts ad revenue is absolutely trash. It's not even worth um, thinking about. Uh, because it, it's so bad compared to the viral nature of how many views that you can get. All of these other monetization strategies are much more viable than relying on, on uh, YouTube shorts uh, ad revenue. However, long form can be significant. We're talking like five to $20 per thousand views, as opposed to like six cents per thousand views. And so I don't quite have a sneak peek for you yet, uh, but I will share uh, some screenshots and, and whatnot as we develop it. But we are working on long form faceless. Uh, it'll be very similar to the same style um, of, of images and, uh, and everything that you love about the short form. We're expanding that into long form and we're working out some, some kinks and some strategies there. 
but those videos you'll be able to monetize because they'll have longer watch time. Uh, the RPMs on them are, will be uh, tremendous. Uh, and so we're going to do, you know, maybe we'll do another uh, 30 day uh, long form faceless challenge <laughs> when we, when we roll that out, uh, that might be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm happy to, so we can, I can answer any questions about this or we can jump right into uh, channel reviews. If anybody wants uh, me to review their faceless uh, video channel and, and suggest some things that you can work on improving or um, I think we've got 33 comments in the chat here. So um, where do you want to jump in here, Joe? Yep. Let's start off with a QA. and um, I think because Chris okay. um, jumped out of the call already because he's busy, but he wanted to see the re recording and he left his YouTube channel for audit. So we have it. His YouTube channel is Cocktails Made Easy on YouTube. So that's one well, of... We... Well, he let's didn't do... send right. the link though. Let's do Does Q anyone let's want do to send the link? Yeah, let's do Q&A first. Um, and then we'll... We'll do faceless channel. So if there's any questions. All right. All right. So one question here is how is Silby compared to NVIDIA that I owe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love this question. Uh, NVIDIA is good for B-roll um, videos, and that's about it. Uh, uh, Syllabi is so much more powerful uh, with other features. So with NVIDIA, and I'm, I'm not talking like really badly about NVIDIA because I think they have a, a fairly cool product. The, de the, the issue with, Sil or the, I'm sorry, the issue with NVIDIA is that the videos that they give you are publicly available stock videos. They use iStock, Shutterstock, Pexels, um, all of these platforms. You can get those, those videos online. Um, you can, you know, go in CapCut and get the same, like, I, there's no real differentiator um, between like NVIDIA and like CapCut, <laughs> to be honest right now, because like you can make faceless video, like B-roll style faceless videos in CapCut uh, as well. So, and that's really all that NVIDIA does. You can't, it doesn't give you topic ideas. Um, it helps with the script, sure. Uh, but then you have to manually download every single video. So what Syllabi does differently is it's a, it's very much a workflow tool. So firstly, we, we show you all of the trending topics and questions that people are searching for online across Google, Google Trends, YouTube. Uh, we show you uh, uh, Instagram hashtags. You can find searches uh, across TikTok, um, all of these platforms. So we actually show you, and this is not AI generated. These are real topics and questions that people are searching for online in your niche. So you can actually find the best topics to create videos on before you even create the video. We of course do video uh, uh, script generation. Um, and then we allow you to create, video, excuse me, videos in multiple different ways that NVIDIA doesn't allow. So we don't have the B-roll style of videos largely because they don't perform that well, uh, to be honest. Um, so our faceless video, um, create, it reads the script and it creates unique AI generated images based on the script. Uh, and you can choose the different art style. We have, I think 25, 26 different art styles, uh, that you can choose from for your video, but essentially every single faceless video that's generated is 100% unique because a new, uh, generated image is created every single time. And so, you know, with NVIDIA, a lot of the B-roll is, is used over and over and over again. You're gonna, you're gonna get, like if I use the same prompt, uh, you're gonna get similar oriented clips uh, and similar oriented videos from NVIDIA. But on Syllabi, it's completely unique every single time. You can also create AI avatar videos or talking photo videos in syllabi, and you can't do that in NVIDIA. So if you want to use talking avatars, uh, you can create a real clone avatar of yourself uh, to, to be like a talking head style video. You can do that in syllabi. You can't do that in NVIDIA. Uh, we also have direct scheduling and publishing to uh, your social media. So you can actually, we have a built-in content calendar. NVIDIA doesn't have any of this. So you can connect and schedule and publish to Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and LinkedIn, 
all within uh, uh, syllabi. And then the last thing that I want to touch on, uh, a unique differentiator, differentiator with syllabi is that even if you don't want to create AI generated videos, you don't have to. You can use this as a workflow tool. We have our own built-in video editor. So you can create, you can record your own video yourself, upload it into syllabi and then schedule and publish it out. So if you want to use syllabi to just find topic ideas and write you a video script, and then you record the video yourself, edit the video yourself in syllabi and then schedule and publish it out, um, you can do that. Uh, one more thing that I'll touch upon uh, is that um, you're, I'm the CEO of Syllabi. Uh, you are on here with us. We have made it a point to be to go above and beyond with our customer service and to interact with all of you. You see me on Discord. You see me in the Facebook group. You see me responding to every single comment and private message to the best of my ability. Try and get that same level of support from NVIDIA. You're not going to get it. Um, syllabi is built by creators for creators. In video is just created by a bunch of engineers that thought it was a good idea. We have a hand on the pulse. We are creators. We actually have our own channels and we don't have tens of millions of dollars in funding like NVIDIA does. And I still think with that, because we are, are such a scrappy team that cares uh, and cares about your success, that's why we're better. Uh, and so that was a long-winded rant. I'm sorry about that, but that was a that was a good setup question. All right. So the next one would be: Can you show us how to take information, text, how to format, format, and Claude then to syllabi? If you're using Claude, I guess this is his question from Annie. Uh, well, so we are using Claude in uh, syllabi already, so you you don't have to use Claude separately. Uh, that's the, that's the shortest answer uh, to it. So um, with, syllabi is designed so it's an all-in-one platform. You don't you don't have to use ChatGPT. You don't have to use Claude uh, to generate any scripts. You can do everything right within within syllabi. And next, um, I think I'm done with the questions from the Q and A. So I'm jumping into the chat yeah. questions. Okay, um, here, uh, interesting. Man. Can you teach us how we can make TikTok shop a uh, TikTok shops or shop? So I think you mentioned that earlier that you wanted to do a case study. So, um, he's asking iPad. I think it's the name. Yeah, if you can show right. them how to create one. Uh, so the. Create a TikTok shop as in you have your own products that you want to sell or you want to do what I showed in here of creating a video for a particular product. Um, either way, I can't, I, I, I'll record something separately. Uh, I can't really show you right now because uh, it has to be done on, on a mobile device, but I could record uh, a little demo of how you would uh, upload a video, a faceless video, for instance, um, and link it to a particular product uh, to sell it. I'm happy to do that. Okay. Got it. And next is, how long have you been leveraging Beehive? I've been on Beehive about a month. Uh, so it, it's maybe a little bit more than than one month. Uh, it's a, I'm, I'm new to the platform uh, as well, but I jumped in um, and it's the best. And if you have large email lists, it is significantly cheaper than MailChimp or MailerLite uh, or, you know, Constant Contact, any of these mail, mail platforms. It is ridiculously affordable. Okay, thank you. And next question would be, what is the reasonable length for long form video? And are you suggesting we create it using Faceless? Uh, yeah, you can create long form faceless videos if you don't want to be in them. Uh, if you want to be like, I'm not recommending it over recording content yourself. It, it just is dependent on um, if you want to be on camera or not. The ideal length is there's so many variables to that. I mean, uh, I would probably say more than five minutes. Um when you start creating long form content, you have to look at your analytics uh, and viewer duration 
And so like, if you're creating 15 minute long videos, but people are only sticking around for two minutes, stop making 15 minute long videos and go down to like five or six minutes because your average view duration percentage is going to go up, which is a, a massive factor on, on YouTube in particular. Um, other little nuances is, uh, if it's above eight minutes long, then you can add mid roll ads on YouTube as well. So you can have more ad spots, which helps you make more money as well. Cause the more ads that show up on your videos, the more money that you get because they get placed in front of you. And so you can only have uh, mid roll ads on a video that's more than eight minutes long. Thank you. And next yeah. from Daipan or Tipan, sorry. Um, do you think creating one universal chat a channel to promote different kinds of affiliate marketing, or should I create one channel per affiliate marketing? Uh you you can have them all in one as long as the niche is specific. For instance, uh I do that. I I I talk about AI tools and and useful websites. Uh, and I, I'm an affiliate for 60 or 70 different, uh, different products and tools, uh, across my channels. Um, as long as they're relevant under one core niche, right? Like as long as I'm talking about AI tools and primarily AI tools for business owners and content creators, that's kind of the subset niche, right? Um, if you're an affiliate for like Amazon products, and then you're an affiliate for syllabi. And then you're an affiliate for uh, a ring light. And then you're an affiliate for uh, a soda company. Like that is not going to work, right? Because you, you're you creating content for various different niches. But if the content is hyper-focused on one industry, one topic, one niche, you, you can uh, absolutely talk about multiple products and be an affiliate for multiple. Thank you. All right. I just want to remind everybody that we're going to get to your um, YouTube channels after Austin answers most of the question with regards to what he just presented earlier. So um, continuing with the questions. Yeah, let's uh, let's just let's do let's do two more questions, Jal, uh, and then just for time's sake, and then we'll jump into channel reviews. Sure. No problem. So um, where to begin with affiliate marketing, this is from also Japan. Um, do you recommend a site that has a top list to start from? Uh, sure. Uh, I mean, it, it's pretty easy to sign up. Let me give you my, uh, let me share my screen here and I'll just show you. I, I mean, if you wanna promote um, SaaS products, I kind of did the work for you. So let me post this uh, in the chat here. Oops everyone so this is my list of useful websites and you can you can see these like anonymous lurkers in here because i just have funnels um everything that's a bitly link that you see on here is an affiliate link so um copy ai is an affiliate program rank dimensions is an affiliate link right asa is an affiliate link high level uh beehive uh, TubeBuddy, uh, Chief Content Officer, there's NVIDIA, there's Twinner, uh, Submagic. There's like a, like 50 or 60, let's see where they go down to, about 62. So there's, there's about 50 tools uh, on this list. So like if it's Bitly or if it's like, it's this URL and then after it says referral equals um something like that that's also an affiliate link and so you can sign up like um let's go to like let's go uh let's see let's go to this, like sub magic for instance and how you would sign up is they're gonna either have like a link in their uh header or down in the footer um sometimes both right it says affiliate and they'll have information about how to become an affiliate and information about the affiliate program. And you just go through their sign up process. So you just typically fill out a form like this, um, you know, your information, uh, how you plan on promoting the tool, and then sign up. And then you get, you know, once they approve you, sometimes there's sometimes it's auto approval. Syllabi is auto approval, uh, by the way, but other other tools is manual approval. Um, 
then you'll get your affiliate link and you can begin promoting it. Thank you very much for that, Austin. And okay, last question before we jump into the links. Um, which platform is best for affiliate marketing like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok? If you would um, recommend which platform would you rank one, et cetera? Uh, probably Instagram, to be honest, because ManyChat works incredibly well on there. So what you can do is post Instagram reels and have a many chat automation set up. So you can post a video and say like, um, how many chat works is based on trigger words. Uh, and so you can have it set up like um, you're promoting a product. And at the end of the video, you can say comment with the word syllabi and I'll DM you the link. And so every time somebody comments with that specific word that you mentioned, uh, ManyChat will automatically send them a message uh, of your choosing, right? And so you can have it set up so it sends your affiliate link. Uh, and this has worked incredibly well for me because uh, like videos will sometimes go viral. Let me show in, uh, maybe an example here. Um, let me share my screen again real quick. find one. There was one recently that did very well. I'm sure the one that did, that did good for ranked. This one did good. That's the same one. Okay. Here's one. Infinite, infinite money glitch, right? Uh, at the end of the video and right at the top of the description, I say comment ranked and I'll DM you the link, right? And so you see all of these comments that say ranked, 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 ranked. Right. Um, this video has 7,000 comments. So that means 7,000 direct messages were automated sending my affiliate link of ranked. Um, it's a lot of opportunity there. <laughs> uh, I would say second is probably Facebook. Uh, Facebook has just been massive. Um, TikTok can drive a lot of traffic too, but. Uh, yeah, I would say link or uh, yeah, I would say Instagram with uh, many chat is is the number one way. All right. Thank you very much. So, guys, for those who weren't able, we weren't able to answer. I'm sending you the link to the discord channel that we have invite. So, oh, just yeah. I, so just in case you want to send out some questions there or ask more questions, um, Austin is available there. Don and Nicole. So everybody in the team is almost there. But anyway, so let's continue with um some of the links. Um Austin, probably you can browse through the chat because I don't think um, I can give you the links unless you check on them. So you can choose which one to use. Yeah, no problem. I'll scroll through as I'm as Thank I'm scrolling you. through. Um, one thing I'll say too, if you haven't uh tried syllabi yet, uh let me uh, Jao, if you could post a link in the comments, and if you sure. use the code, if you use the code challenge, uh, you'll save twenty five percent. We have that uh, coupon code going on right now for a specific challenge. Uh, we also have, so that, we also have one uh, code here for the webinar itself, so I can send it okay. right here. Yeah, send so that. We, send that. Specifically. All right. So we have this code for today, um, and you can use this link to avail a 25% for newbies or those who are new in syllabi. Thank you. I okay. think we have 19 newbies here, new syllabi users. So you can take advantage awesome. of that. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Um, I, so unfortunately I don't speak Spanish, so I don't know how helpful this is going to be. You're definitely getting good viewership though, uh, in the 600s, let me see. You're getting good engagement. I wanna see if there's any outlier videos, so everything. Okay, so 968, that was a good one. 800, 961. has been performing pretty well. I would 
I would honestly kind of stick with it. You know, some other things you can do, you have no bio in here, right? I would optimize uh, this. Um, a good uh, sort of three line bio uh, is, you know, what your channel is about, uh, why they should care. Um, and then once you have, once you had a thousand followers on TikTok, you can add a link. And then, so you would add a call to action down at the end. So like what your channel is about, uh, why they should, why they should follow you and then what you want them to do next. Um, I would that, I would add that, you know, so like, I don't know what Goyo entertainment is or what the connection to these videos are. Um, but these look really cool <laughs> and they're performing pretty well. So I think you could do pretty, pretty simple tweaks. Like the hashtags are obviously working for you. Um, if you, if you have a video and there's not like any huge outliers here, I think this was the, the best video 968. So it's not a huge differentiator, but like if you get one video that does like 2,500 views or 10,000 views or something like that, go all in on that topic. Like right now, Jao on one of her faceless channels has a, a DC versus Marvel um, a video that has like 60,000 views, which is exponentially more than the other views on, on her channel. And so Jao, I would recommend doing like five more DC versus Marvel uh, videos like that and see if you can recapture a lot of that um, that viewership to scale. Yeah, on it actually. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, let's click on this one. I'm just going to kind of randomly go through some of these, but uh, culinary craze. Let's do this one. Cool. Okay. Let me subscribe to you too. Okay, so doing pretty good here. You had one video, 8,400. 2,000, 1,700, 1,300. By the way, all of these videos are made in syllabi, uh, everybody. So if you haven't, uh, these are real results, real channels. We're doing a 30-day challenge uh, right now in our syllabi Facebook group. Um, let's look at this. Let's look at this one, like 8,400. That's pretty great. Did you know honey never spoils? That's right. Archaeologists have discovered pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. The secret lies in honey's unique composition. It's low in water content, so but high in good, as see. Remember, not expired. Time it. Okay, so one immediate thing that I would do is at the end uh, of, of, of your script, add a specific call to action to subscribe for more of this, right? So um, culinary craze, uh, all things, let's see, the fascinating word, food, surprising facts, hidden histories. Um, so you could just have a simple call to action at the end of every single video that says subscribe if you love food or subscribe if you're a foodie like me or something like that. One really clear call to action. That's going to drastically drive up your subscriber count here. Um, as, a, as an example, let me show you on my channel here. Every single video, I have a call to action right at the end. Um, so like, let's do... Uh, let's look at some of my more popular ones, like this one did 13,000. Here, every... And in some cases, your nose will be cut off, too. Should we bring these punishments back? Here, every weird... Oh, that was a comment call to action. One second. Let's see. Did you know the Bible? One of the truth. Fascinating, right? Follow if you love ancient history. So something as simple as that, right? Follow if you love ancient history. Just giving them a next step, telling them to do a thing if they like the thing that they just watched will help you increase those subscribers quite a lot. But otherwise, I think you're doing, I think you're doing really good. Those, those views were doing awesome. 8,000 on that one. The other thing is like you have, a, you have somewhat of an outlier. Like uh, the next viewed one was 2,000 views. Uh, you know, maybe honey is a great topic. So like do more videos about honey. Let's see here. Look at another one.
Okay, Omni Mindfulness. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So it looks like there's only been a couple. Hey, I know him. Looks like you've only posted two of the faceless videos so far. Let me see if any. Okay, so there's a couple. So, um, okay, got it. Okay, so one big tip here. Um, in order for them to be considered shorts, they have to be under one minute long. And so it looks like a lot of these videos that were published were over the one minute mark. And so unfortunately, they just don't get indexed into YouTube shorts if they're even like one minute, one second. Um, and so that's why all of these other videos have gotten lower views, uh, because YouTube shorts gets exponentially more uh, viewership and, and discoverability. Um, the other thing, so a, a, a quick little tip on uh for syllabi specifically, if you're generating scripts in there, is the AI script generator is, is more powerful than you think it is. So you don't have to just click, you know, type in your idea and click generate script. You can say, uh, you can you can give it specifics like um, make sure that the script is less than uh, 1000 characters or 950 characters if you want to be uh, really sure. You can also add negative keywords in there as well. So for instance, like I have a running series uh, on my ancient history channel about uh, real, real confirmed facts in the Bible. And so like every video, I don't want to have the same facts, right? That would be boring if every single video I did was exactly the same. So I will add negative keywords uh, to the next time um, saying something like don't mention Pontius Pilate, don't mention the Ark of the Covenant, don't mention uh, the, the great flood, don't mention Noah's Ark, you know, and so a new script will be generated, uh, that doesn't talk about those particular things because I added those negatives within the, the AI script generator. So I would, I would just tell it, um, say, make sure the script is, is less than a thousand characters, maybe make sure it's less than 950 characters just to make sure that it's under, uh, under one minute. That's going to give you the best results. The other thing too, and this might seem a little harsh, um, but because it's a pretty new channel, nobody is coming for this daily challenge yet. Um, I'm sorry to say that. So like you have to go think about this from a discover, a broad discoverability perspective and not um, a daily challenge type thing yet. And so like nobody, nobody's is coming day one, day two, day 13, 14, 15 for this. Um, so I would just have this like um, a little bit more specific on what the topic is about. So trends in LLM research, uh, the magic of AI evolution, It's kind, it kind of doesn't tell me at all what the video is about. So it's hard for YouTube to index that particular video. Um, this one might be pretty good. Powerful VR technologies for mental wellness. So a little bit of how I do topic research ahead of time. And while like, I'm just gonna be transparent, like I, I love the idea discovery tool that we have within Syllabi, uh, but I wanna see on YouTube specifically what videos have performed best in my niche. Um, and so if I do like, let's let's type in mindful alchemy i don't i'm not quite sure what that is um let's see if there's any uh proven winning topics on that yet um i want to sort by most viewed so there's not there's really not a whole lot of viewership around mindful alchemy even in youtube shorts Whoops. So this might just not be a good topic uh, to generate a, a short form on. Um, AI for streamlining your life. So like maybe if this, let me, let me watch this video here. Ever wondered how AI can 
can boost your personal and professional life. Today, we'll explore how AI tools can help you grow and achieve balance. Um, let's maybe type in something like that. Um, why is this flavor? Why is this showing up as German? It's interesting. AI. Maybe AI productivity. This should give us some better results. And I want to sort, I typically will sort by shorts here. And so I'm looking for the shorts that have titles with the most amount of views. So like here's one that did 5,000 balancing AI's promise and caution. Seven AI tools to save you time and money. So like this would be probably pretty good. This is a, a short that did 703,000 views. I would probably take this title into syllabi and have it generate a new script for me and then create that video. And then another thing you could maybe do like, so just to show you my workflow and you can apply this workflow for your niche as well. So I will type in something like, you know, ancient history. And then I will see the shorts that have the most uh, amount of views. Let's see. They're typically also faceless. Let's see. So something like this, this video has 25 million. And then I will go to their channel. Ancient Egyptian and then I'll look at their shorts, sort by popular, and they've already done the work for me, right? So they already have all of these topics and titles that have gotten hundreds of thousands of views or millions of views in this case, right? And so I can take all of these topics, like no crime in ancient Egypt, why? I can take that topic into syllabi and I can recreate that video and it increases like, because it's already worked, it's very likely that it's going to work again. It's just stacking the odds in your favor. Um, yeah. So let's go over, let's go over it for time's sake. I'm just going to do one more. Um, and then maybe we'll do a separate day uh, or maybe at the end of the challenge or something, we'll do, do something else. Let's see. See what this is. Factorama. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. So you're kind of in the same niche as me, which is great. All right. Let's see. So you're doing pretty good here, getting a couple hundred views across the board. And you're doing really all of the all of the right stuff. Titles look good. Picture this. I, I and I know these titles and topics are good because I've made some of these videos. Um, you could test removing the hashtags. I don't. I don't conclusively believe that hashtags make any difference on YouTube whatsoever. I've been doing actively testing both, um, and I just don't think they do much of anything. Even if you see uh, another video with hashtags that did millions of views, I think it's just the video itself. Like when YouTube Shorts just rolled out years ago at this point, um, it, you were supposed to add hashtag shorts and it helped index it, but the algorithm's gotten very good. Like it automatically knows if it's a vertical video that's less than 60 seconds long, it will automatically get indexed on uh, on YouTube Shorts. Um, the thing that does seem to matter the most is titles. The title of the video really, and view duration, of course, like you have to hold their attention throughout. But that initial discoverability, I have not found anything that matters as crucially as the title 
uh, of the video. So titles look good. I would probably, um, I'm going to check if you have a, a call to actions on these, um, but I would probably try cutting out the hashtags and the titles and see if that helps at all. Imagine ruling an entire empire to be same. Tune in next time for more tales from the past. Imagine. Okay, so there is a call to action at the end. That might have been auto-generated by by syllabi. You might want to tweak that call to action in the AI script uh, generator to like specifically subscribe if you love ancient history or something along the lines of that. But for time's sake, I hope that was helpful, everybody. We went over eight different monetization strategies. We did some channel reviews. Hopefully you took some valuable information away from this. As Jao uh, linked in the, in the webinar chat here, join our Discord community. We're all very active in there. We've got over 100 members in the Discord community so far. It's growing every single day. Um, we have a dedicated, Nicole is, is crushing it in, uh, in, in Discord. Uh, Adrian said, I learned a lot today. Thanks. You are welcome. I'm happy to hear it. Uh, and if you haven't uh, signed up for Syllabi yet, uh, make sure you do so. Uh, we have an exclusive discount uh, code for you for attending this webinar. Uh, Jao, if you could link that one more time in the chat here. Uh, if you wanted to view this again, uh, it will. this recording will be up on uh, our YouTube channel as well as the webinar page on the Syllabi website. Uh, and you'll always be able to uh, find future webinars there, RSVP for future webinars. Uh, rewatch past webinars that you want to like go through and study and, and meticulously go through. Thank you all so much for, for jumping in today. I appreciate you. And like I said, we're going to continue to do these webinars every single week uh, as long as they continue to be helpful for you guys. So uh, thank you so much again and enjoy the rest of your day.